Hey, Matt, it's Mike Reese with ESPN. Nice to meet you. How are you doing today? Good, good. How are you doing, Mike? Good. Do you go, like to go by Matt or Matthew? Uh, it does, doesn't matter. You can just call me Matt. All right. Um, can you take us back to, I guess, Monday, the first day of that free agency period, and what that experience was like for you? Uh, well, uh, I was in... I was in Orlando at Disney with uh, my daughter for her spring break. And it, it just, it moved fast. Uh, it was, you know, calls back back and forth and for my agents and we filled in offers and uh, it, within, you know, three hours we had a deal. So uh, it moved fast, but it, it was a good experience. It was, it was a very good experience and uh, you know, one that that I'm gonna enjoy, and I, I'm gonna tell my kids it was way better. You know, when they grow up, or my grandkids. But uh, you know, it it worked out how it was supposed to work out, and I think uh, I'm in the best situation possible for my football career. And and how would you describe the emotions of going through that? Ah, uh, not too many emotions. Uh, you know, just the life-changing decisions and you got you kind of got to do them fast and swiftly um but you know uh I, obviously i was excited and uh me and the family celebrated but uh not too many other emotions like that uh, next question evan lazar um all by clifton brown Hey, Matt, welcome to New England. I uh, just wanted to ask you, I'm not sure how much of the playbook or anything like that you've really thought about, but um, do you see similarities in how the Patriots use uh, the players at your position to what you were doing in Baltimore, or do you think it will be a little bit of a transition for you? Uh, I, I just got to get in to know the system uh, better. Uh, it's, it's, not, it's not like comparing one of, you know, one of the two. Uh, so I don't know because I obviously haven't took a snap, a snap in New England. So, uh, we, we just going to get in there and we're going to figure out more and, uh, you know, whatever coach needs me to do, I'm willing to do so. Uh, but as far as comparing the two, I, I have no clue. And uh, in terms of setting the edge of the defense, how much of that were you doing in Baltimore, just being that edge force in run in the run defense and things like that? Well, uh, when whenever the run whenever ran, run was ran at me, uh, that was usually my responsibility was to set the edge and try not to let the ball get outside of me. So uh, yeah, you however many plays I played that is you know that's was my main responsibility unless i had some type of movement inside but most of the times that was my job thanks matt welcome again thank you uh, next question clifton brown followed by jim mcbride yeah matthew congratulations on your new deal um you're going to be missing baltimore uh one i want to ask you even though i know you're going to keep the relationships you have in baltimore with so many of your teammates, is it going to be strange at all to play, you think, for another team? And number two, did you go into free agency thinking there was any chance you might come back to Baltimore? Did you pretty much go in thinking, you know, your time went there was over? Uh, well, obviously, I'm going to keep my relationships. And, uh, you know, I, I build some strong friendships and, uh, and you know, uh, bonds in uh, Baltimore. So, um so uh you know it's it's you know hard to leave but uh you know that's what i had to do for my career and then um and as far as thinking if i could come back or not uh that would you know that's that's not really up to me uh I, how how free agency went uh and how i seen how it how it goes uh you know, I could have wanted to be anywhere, but, you know, if they didn't want me, uh, you know, that's that's just not how it works and it's not feasible. So, um, you know, I am where I'm supposed to be, and I, I think uh, I'm going to make the best out of this for my career and for the team I'm playing for, which is to pay. Uh, 
Patriots. Next question, Jim McBride, followed by Doug Kide. Uh, hey, Matt, welcome to New England. Uh, I'm wondering what, if you remember what ride you were on at Disney when you made the decision to, to join the Patriots. Mm, nah, we wasn't on the ride. Uh, and uh, we was in a parking lot. So, uh, so I was, we, uh, we drove, me and my wife uh, drove two, two separate cars, but uh, she had, she had gotten in the car and I was in a driver's seat was in a, a passenger front seat and uh that's where we made the decision and what was your first conversation with with coach belichick like did, did he give you an, a vision of what he sees for you in this defense uh he just gave, he gave an overview of uh, the team and how they run things and everything so uh you know he he just kept it very uh him and it was it was it was funny and uh it was it was good but uh it was very brief so uh that's that's how i did it and uh, obviously we're gonna have a lot more conversations coming up uh, but first we got to figure out what we're gonna do for like the nfl and uh and the otas and stuff like that and i think after that we have a lot more conversations uh next question doug kide followed by zach cox Hey, Matt, uh, just curious if you have any memories of playing with Lawrence Guy uh, back in your rookie season in Baltimore. Uh, yeah, I got a I got a couple memories of LG and some stuff that uh, he taught me and stuff like that. Uh, LG, LG was a good player and uh, he, he was a good veteran to, you know, come into the league with. And uh, at that time, we was in the same room. So, uh Yep, I, I definitely remember LG. And just one other question. Uh, have you had any contact with guys like Dante Hightower or Kyle Van Noy uh, since you made the decision to come here? Uh, yeah, yes, I have. Uh, I talked to obviously both of them. Uh, I talked to Carl Davis a little bit. Uh, you know, I said we had sat down with a couple other players and uh, just talked to them and, and just heard some of uh you know their their goals and uh and their visions for and then what we should expect just as like kind of a players panel just to talk to the new guys Thanks. it looks like the final question will be zach cox hey matt uh i saw that you actually worked out for the patriots or, or the patriots hosted a workout with you before the draft uh, when you were coming out of college uh, i'm just curious what you remember from from that workout and what kind of impression they made on you back then i don't know i have i have no clue i had like if you've seen that you've probably seen i had like six other workouts uh and then i had like seven other visits and then like it was like 22 people 22 other teams at the, my pro day and I did like linebacker work I did d-line work and I also did some like db work and I had no clue why I did that but uh so you know that was that was a that was a pretty busy week and uh not a week I mean like month two months until the draft so I, I don't really remember but no, I, I'm ready to dive in now. Makes sense. Thank you.